In My Elements. By Matt Jude, 2014. Prelude. On my excursions as a pseudo-schizophrenic speculator I seem to have conceived a metaphysical philosophy, effectively reinventing my world as I once knew it which I now rationalize through a prolix verbosity. So pacify your apprehension and entertain my conjecture, I assure that it's orchestrated in harmonic elegance. Detach from the fatalist archetypes of a conditioned nature and follow my notions as I guide you through my elements. Colors In the colors dwells my love, the dearest parts of me, a vivid spectrum of life and light with decades of adore. These sentiments illuminate from the apex of divine like something of a tesseract, dimensions galore. I endeavor to carry this rainbow in my mottled heart, especially when amidst such secular dispositions. This transforms my travels into variegated affairs, a kaleidoscopic splendor of serene expeditions. Dare I bear anti-colors in the depth of my sorrow, for set in context cried a floral soul named Fay, you see a red door, I want it painted black, when abandoned derelict, forlorn you would decay. Now excavating my polychromes out on that beaten road, I question the masses, what more does a sanguine need? Then consolidating my anthology of dreams and desires, I count my resolve through every hue I call my creed. Chemicals The chemicals contain the immediate universal wisdom of a collective hive mind of fundamental constituents, proactively intranetworking in questionable ways achieving a functional exhibit of exponential influence. Ingesting these chemicals on a quest of surreal proportions I attempted to further my acquaintance with obscurity. Permeating through the abysmal realms of the unknown I ascertain that only discernment develops maturity. Be wary however of savage anti-chemicals in the neurocortex, destabilizing the biotic equilibrium may prove you insane. Meditate and medicate with ambient company, discover then the returning zen of a moderated brain. So be cautious and shield your being from this callous toxicity, stay vigilant in every form and fashion or else wander in wonder. Refuse to regrettably expire in a lethal envelopment of poison, eternally yielding a chapter of uninvited lightning and thunder. Flowers These flowers I nurture embody the kind gestures of humanity, resilient warriors who through calamity and disparity grow tall. Like the immaculate butterfly who flutters by in true liberty, such beautiful blossoms are free to give and share for all. Yes, it doesn't cost much to impart a gift of earnest benevolence, an enchanted fragrant flower will forever bask in warm reception. So let these leafy petals flourish in your zestful garden, I implore you my dear readers, to plant seeds of warm affection. Woe betide if I pick anti-flowers for my adversaries, or even wish brittle anguish upon their incoherent commissions. For what benefit can I possibly attain through revulsion? Cultivating nothing but an assembly of empty munitions. A provocation of insincere temperament is nothing of grand, in fact it will quicken an impression of severe aversion. Conciliation is commended in a society of noblemen, the highest honor given to those who preclude aspersion. Metal The metals encompass the entire construct of this physical realm, our domain is built on the foundations of these robust alloys. Refined molecules define the infrastructure of our surroundings in a comprehensive periodic table of raw metallic poise. This allegory may also be extended to include our own vocation, climbing the overlong ladders of our corporate organizations. Doing so we lay the crucial groundwork of the lives we lead, our labors manufacture symbolic metal in various manifestations. Anti-metal is an equal and opposite antagonist termed perfect chaos, this sheer entropy can only infer destruction of all material creation. Instigating mayhem ushers in unruly confusions of disarray, any unbridled entities will indeed elicit a world's devastation. In regards to the occupational facet of this erratic component, take heed that engaging in disorder is a futile endeavor. Refrain from jeopardizing a professional position in business by not trading with inconsistent associates whatsoever. Spirit our spirit is indefinitely infinite and virtuous in every context, being quiescently embodied with an ethereal countenance. Transcendentally dispensed from high above to reside on down below, driven by unwavering ambition and fueled with heavenly sustenance. 
celestial energy is the focal stimulus of the sentient organism, who breathes this vital essence apparent to any qualified observer. Thus we are bona fide phenomena, resplendently humanoid, rare charismatic captivations teeming with abundant fervor. Anti-spirit, does such a misconstrued supposition even exist? I could dispute for eons the credibility of this intangible derivative. Show evidence of a soulless soul and I'll revise my estimation, to even reason with this deceptive theory would be primitive. Hence I assert our beneficial binding to an unearthly quintessence, perhaps even a synergetic consciousness of ubiquitous magnitude. This pervasive fifth element cannot be successfully scrutinized, it is engraved as universal law, and for this, I give all my gratitude. Closure Admittedly I must confess my incessant fascinations with the aforementioned attributes of my reality. Fret not, through studious prayer and subtle mindfulness I keep myself grounded, actualizing daily my austere mortality. Try abstracting through these concepts and distinguish yourself, I encourage you to shape and study some personal incarnations. Elevate your corporeal existence to a heightened awareness and realize solace in your elements, your own peculiar fabrications.